Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my what sold for last week which would have been Monday through Thursday, July 18th through the 21st. Y'all, heads up, it's been rough. eBay's got lots of issues going on right now. We're getting through them. I'm just hoping that they're getting all of this figured out now instead of fourth quarter like they did last year. But I am listing, listing, listing. In fact, I'm going to start on, <laughs> I'm going to start on the stuff that I picked up at the Goodwill bins in March this week. I'm determined to get some of it processed. And then I think Thursday we're heading out to the Highway 127 sale, which I'm really excited for. So won't get much work done there, but you know, hoping to meet up with some people and um, just have some relaxed time, you know, it's, it, I'm ready for a little bit of relaxing. So, and then of course some sourcing and hopefully we'll get some good footage to share live if you know what I mean. All right. So actually I think I had sales on all six of my platforms, all six. That's been a while. If you're new to my channel, I've been selling on eBay for 23 years. I say my primary niche is um, stuffed animals and toys, but I do venture out into other things. We started doing clothes last year. We're doing more shoes this year. Um, I like to do vintage Christmas and hard goods and vintage um, small appliances that we part out. Just, you know, basically what a lot of you guys are doing. Whatever we can find that we can buy cheap and sell for a profit. Um, but I did eBay only for years. And then I think two years ago, I started with Bonanza because that one's seamless. It's just basically connecting the two accounts. I don't sell a whole lot there. Um, but it's easy. You don't have to do anything. As long as you keep up renewing that annual thing. I've seen a few posts where they say all of a sudden it's unlinked from eBay. More than likely, there's a token that you have to renew. I think it's annually. Um, and then it just keeps everything connected. Um, but this past year, yeah, this past year I started doing Mercari then Etsy, um, what's my other one? Poshmark was last, um, Facebook Marketplace. So I do, I don't have everything cross-listed there yet. I'm trying to get a lot of things cross-listed in preparation for fourth quarter, because I think the more times you can get your items seen on these different platforms, the, the better chances of it getting sold. But, you know, I, I use this perfectly to cross list. It's easy. It's quick. You can do a lot at a time. Um, so that's what I've been doing. And then this next month, Robert's going to take over the cross listing for me this next month. We're going to really do a big push for August to get as much as we can cross listed. All right. And down in the link, if you ever want to try List Perfectly, there's a, a link down in my description and you use the, the code, the Rebel Reseller, no blanks, and you'll get 30% off your first month. All right, let's go. This is Cuddle Wit Clown Plush Vintage 19 inch. It sold for best offer of $11. A lot of the stuff that I buy, a, a large majority, I think, of the plush comes from the Goodwill bins. We do sourcing trips um, a couple of times a year. I used to go to Indianapolis quite a bit, um, but I have now been going the last couple of times. We pass through Nashville and I'll stop there and then we go to St. Louis and they have two amazing Goodwill bins there. Um, and the other positive to that is that's where Robert's from and we get to spend time with family and visit and then do a whole lot of sourcing and then come back. We have like a five by eight trailer that we try to fill when we do these trips and almost all of it is stuffed animals and toys. So I have just like 
$1.49 a pound or whatever it is for most of these, but I do source a lot from yard sales and estate sales. We have a few thrift stores that I like to hit, but I don't, maybe once a month, I might go to the thrift stores in this area. This is Walmart, love that brand, but this is a black dog, seven inch with the candy stripe hat. It's sold for best offer of $9.50. This was, I picked up a set of four of these Department 56 Harley Davidson pieces. This was the smallest piece. It was just the sign, um, and I sold it for best offer of $9.59. This is La Max. It is a small village piece. It was boys versus girls in a tug of war. It had a few issues, which I did state in the um, description, but it sold for best off for a $45. This is Nanco, not a brand that I think is good quality. I kind of put it in the same category as like Toy Factory, but they do do a lot of um, like characters. Um, uh, seasonal types, Halloween, Christmas. So I will pick them up on occasion just because of the the uniqueness of some of their pieces. Um, this monster kind of looked like a blue Frankenstein, I guess. It sold for a best offer of $13. This is Tommy Bahama. It was a silk, not silk, it was a linen extra large shirt. It sold for $31.21. This was uh, from TB Trading Company. It was a bear dressed in his pajamas, but when you put the batteries in, it made snoring sounds and the chest went up and down. I, I'm at all about taking best offers right now, trying to just get some kind of momentum going in my store. My sales are down from what I would like, but they're okay. I can pay my bills, you know what I mean? Um, so I did take a best offer of $25.99. These I'm pretty sure I picked up at the Goodwill bins. This is the accessories for the um, Elmo Goes Potty set. Um, it was just the little toilet that came with Elmo, the drinking cup, and a little book. I sold it for best offer of $10.00. Another clothing item, these are Nike Dry Fit women's size medium, like pants, athletic pants. They sold for $9.68. We pick up most of our clothing items at yard sales in our area, and we usually pay a dollar or less with a few exceptions, but usually a dollar or less for most items. I pick up all homeschooling stuff that I find. Um, this Robert picked up a whole bunch of Abeka and I think Bob Jones University curriculum when he was at home um, visiting his family last year. I've sold through almost all of it. They're just, all I really do with them when I find them, just make sure you go through them and make, there's no, uh, if you've got a student's book, make sure there's no writing in it. Um, I do see listings where it says the book is half complete or, you know, a fourth complete. Um, I, I won't do that. It's just um, too much work to have to try to erase everything. This was a teacher key, so there would be no writing in it unless it was teacher notes, and that's okay. Um, it sold for $7.95. I think we paid, I want to say $50 for a bunch of them. But Abeka is very popular with the homeschool community. This is Nylent, which is those steel vehicles. These were called Men of Steel. I was at a yard sale and they had a lot of vintage seasonal stuff. Easter, Christmas, Halloween. I found these two figures in a box and when I paid for everything, she just gave them to me for free. Um, but I took a best offer of $21 for these little three-inch figures. This is Walmart. It was just a, I called it golden brown um, colored rabbit. 18-inch 
very, very cute. I took a best offer of $25 for it. This is Kohl's Cares Corduroy um, Bear Plush. This was one of those um, listings that I got a note from a frantic parent um, wondering if I could go ahead and ship this right away, which I did because her child had lost theirs. Luckily, she got it in like two days and sent me another message you know, thanking me for getting it out so quickly. It sold for $7.25. I had a question, I think, in my um, Facebook group that, you know, would I pick up Kohl's Cares? I pick it up all the time. Most of them do not sell for a whole lot, but they sell. They sell, they have, they sell through quickly for me. Um, last year, by the end of fourth quarter, I only had a few of them left, so I spend the whole year trying to get as many more of them listed and ready as I can. So, this is Pillsbury Doughboy placemat. I bought a tote full of just Pillsbury Doughboy. There were um, cookie jars and plush and like a spoon set. Just it was full of all kinds of different things. I want to say I paid thirty-five dollars for the whole tote. And I believe this was the last thing to sell. And it was two placemats from 1997. And it's another one of those situations where I ended it, which I've been still doing. Some days I miss, but I'm trying um, to do it daily. And all of my listings that are about to roll over and um, when I relist them, they sell. A lot of times I have these instances quite often where some of these items sell right away before my sale that I run pretty much all the time sets in. So these sold for $19.95. Now I did have a comment on one of my YouTube um, videos that somebody said that, you know, to make sure I confirm with people, when I say to delete and relist, I do it just as it's about to roll over. I go in every day into my active listings, and if you scroll all the way to the right, um, you can sort by um, when it was listed. I can't remember, some date. It's the last thing there. I sort it by when it's the soon, the things that are about to end. And then I just, I do 100 at a time because I have 9,000, almost 10,000 items listed. Um, it usually ends up being three or 400 every night that I end up um, just ending in cell similar. But don't just do that random, especially if you have a, you know, 250 items. Um, don't just every week do it because you are going to start accruing charges um, once you get past your free listings. But this way, I don't accumulate any additional fees. It's just as they're about to end and roll over, I just do it before eBay does. I hope that makes sense. This was Billy Moyer, don't know who it is, um, vintage three-time world champion shirt. Size large, I don't know who it is. I'm sure I'll have comments on who it was. Nevertheless, I took a best offer of $14. Vintage Fisher Price Little People. This was the baby with the yellow bib. It sold for $7.16. Again, I'm starting to get through some of the, the stuff that I've picked up at yard sales and estate sales, and then some of the stuff that my friend Noel from Farm Girl Scavenger sent me. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to be listing individual pieces. That way the collectors or people who are just wanting to complete a set or add to a set um, can just buy the items that they want. Now there may be like when I get into the furniture and stuff, I'll put them into small lots, but I try to keep my prices, you know, $9.95, $12.95, $14.95. I don't want a huge lot, you know, where I list it for $100 or $150 because it's going to take that one person, you know, that collector who's wanting to buy a whole lot when in the meantime I could be selling a whole lot of the littles. So that's just how I do it. I don't mind these small dollar sales because I say this all the time, they all add up. Another pair of um, clothing items that sold. This is Declaration of Democracy. 
women's jeans. Um, they sold for best offer of $16. This was from my online high bid auction that I won last year. Amazing. A lot of it was advertising. Like this is for Eckerd, which is a drugstore in our area. I'm not sure where, how far it went. I don't think they're in existence anymore. But it sold for $5.56. Almost every week I'm still selling something from that. And it's been listed for a while. Y'all. Camera died and Robert's not here. This next item is Jim Henson Sesame Street Wooden Christmas Ornaments. I picked most of these type items up at estate sales. Almost all of them tend to price them like a dollar and then I get them on half price day for 50 cents. These sold for $13.45, which reminds me, um, normally when I take best offers or I send best offers, a lot of times the price is like a whole number when I send them. Um, this week, I had some items that it would not let me send an offer on my computer. I don't use my phone very much for that kind of stuff. So what I ended up having to do is um, send out like a 10% bulk offer on the items that it wouldn't let me do individual offers. And that's why I've got this crazy $13.45. This I picked up at a, I think it was a church yard sale maybe. I want to say I paid like a dollar for it. It was um, this little candy gum wrapper coin purse. Just thought it was cute. It ended up selling for $7.15. Now this is something I picked up at our Goodwill bins probably years ago. Years ago. And it sold. Finally on eBay. I am one of those that usually for the most part I just list stuff and very seldom do I take stuff back down. Um, this was an acoustic research series, the Ultimate Brain Tape Cassette Sealed. Sold for $12, best offer. You can sell almost anything on eBay. This is Lambs and Ivy Gray Elephant Plush. Um, it sold for best offer of $13.56. Again, that must have been one of my bulk off offers. I still have another one on, so you'll see the clicking timer there. I had two. I've sold one, and my sale's about to end. I do my sales Monday through Thursday, and then Friday through Sunday is a different sale. This I picked up at an estate sale. Bought a bunch of stuff there. Spent several hundred dollars. This was a vintage bun coffee carafe, still in its box. I paid $5 for some of them on the first day, and then I bought some more for $2.50. So I'm not quite sure which one this would have been. Um, it sold for $24.95. Again, it was one of those I ended, did sell similar, and it sold. This is, a the next two are a couple of items that my wonderful viewer, Lori, purchased from me. Lori very much um, supports my business, um, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, I picked a couple of things that she bought. She bought this Applause Fluffy Bunny Rabbit. It sold for best offer of $23.50. And she bought this Gund, almost said Gund, Target Green Frog Plush for $17.95. So again, Lori, thank you, thank you, thank you for the continued support that you give me. This is a Fuchsia Roy Kirkham coffee cup, Bone China. I think I bought this when I bought a whole bunch of coffee cups, I think. Probably paid anywhere from a quarter to a dollar, depending on which estate sale I ended up buying this from. Um, bought three of them, and this one sold for $9.85. Now, I don't do free shipping, um, so when I say that this sold for $9.85, it was buyer also had to pay additional for shipping, except the caveat is I do have some listings that I did a test for in May to see if eBay's saying that things sell better if they have free shipping really 
was truthful and I've hardly sold any of it. But I haven't taken the time to change them back either. This one's definitely something to be on the lookout for. I've mentioned it before. Um, this is from the cartoon Phineas and Ferb. This is the sister Candace. Um, it's one of the ones that sells probably the best for me. Um, I picked her up when we went up to Cincinnati. I think she was with like a beanie for like 99 cents or something. Um, and she sold very quickly for $24.95. She just sold quicker, except somebody bought it and then didn't pay. I'm having a lot of them right now. Just, you know, several a week I'm having to end after four days. Or cancel, that's the word. All right, this is a Presto Fry Daddy deep fat fryer. I want to say we paid like two or three dollars for it at an estate sale. When we purchased it, I did not realize that it was supposed to have one of those like wire racks to go down in it. It sold and then the person realized it wasn't included and asked for me to cancel it. Um, relisted it, sold right away again. But this time I made sure to put in the, the, uh, condition notes that there was no basket. This is Baby Starters. It is a unicorn, dream a little dream, security blanket. I pick up all loveys that I find. A lot of them are my bread and butter, which I consider like $8 to $12. This one sold for $7.96. Um, but I do also find quite a few that sell for you know, 20s, 30s, 40s even more than that so definitely comp loveys when you find them and i think this next one is my big sell for the week um and it is this and i learned about these from watching bolo buddy's video she did one of those um research videos at one point and showed a whole bunch of these minis um and then soon after that i ended up finding the um, series, the, the like calendar series of them that was on the wall hanging that I ended up selling all 12 of them with the wall hanging for like $560. So this is the one that's really you need to look out for. Not all of them sell for this much. Um, I think I just sold another one for like 40 and then there's some that don't sell for quite a bit. But these are the like three to four inch bears. This is the thinking of ya thinking of ya series um this one was said feel better on the shirt i picked this up at an estate sale um for a dollar the funny thing is is i forgot about this estate sale and the um trading post pickers called us to say they were there and they'd made a deal with the the people who were running the estate sale there was a room full of boyd's bears and all of them were a dollar and they took quite a few um, I went in and way in the bottom of a wooden crate I was picking up non Boyd's bears and this was still laying in there so I picked it up listed it almost within an hour got I listed it for 150 um, almost immediately got an offer for 125 I decided to wait overnight just to see maybe somebody would buy it at my full asking price um, I had another low lowish um, offer when I woke up the next morning I just decided to sell it $125 for a little three and a half inch three and three quarter inch bear so definitely keep your eyes out for them not the six inch a lot of people I think might get confused it's the six inch which are small aren't these Three Facebook orders, How to Train Your Dragon Stormfly Figure 2014 from Spin Master. This sold for $18 on Facebook. And this, yes, this picture is ugly. I had a um, buyer send me a message saying she was interested in these four items. Facebook has the capability to combine, but they, they don't do it very often. So I told her I would you know, mark the other ones sold, pull all four items. We agreed on a price and you all know I pack all of my stuff um, in clear bags when I put them away. So I just took one picture of all four of them together, copy and pasted all of the descriptions here and she purchased 
That way she gets um, one shipping. So it was a Kids of America dog, 101 Dalmatian Lucky, Disney Moana Pig, and Arts Toys RCA Nipper Dog. And then this Douglas. I wish this was one of the, the really good ones, but this is one of the 8 inch. And I don't sell a... I haven't found any of the good Douglas plush. These are the smaller ones. And I find them on occasion, but not a whole lot of them either. But this was a Welsh Corgi dog plush. And it sold for $22 on Facebook. All right. Bonanza. Walmart plush. White Lion. One of the large 19 inch plush. It sold for $28.66. And then on Mercari. I'm not even going to pronounce this canvas backpack purse it sold for eight dollars on uh, mercari and then this um, nine and a half inch pink panther plush from 2014 sold for 17 dollars etsy i don't sell a lot on there because i don't have a whole lot listed but you know it's been consistent for me you know at least like one a week or something i need to get more stuff on there i just I just haven't had the time. But this, these were from my online high bid estate sale auction. I think I paid two or three dollars for like a huge box that was just filled with McDonald's and I want to say Subway, um, like treat buckets. Just tons of them. I don't even think there were any duplicates. This person just collected everything with very few duplicates. Um, I ended up selling these two buckets on Etsy for $21.60. And then I had three Poshmark sales. This is a Super Mario backpack. This was from Finders Keepers that one and only weekend that we did really, really well there. I paid a dollar for it, so sold it for 10. This was a Lefton Rabbit, um, like a little porcelain figure, three inches tall. It sold for $15 on Poshmark. And then this Eden Oshkosh Bagosh little lamb plush on wooden wheels. And it sold for $32 on Poshmark. So if you're not listing toys over there, I'm slowly but surely getting them listed. Um, I try to pick stuff that's either higher dollar, more than $15, because at $15, um, you know, you pay 20% fees there. Anything less than that, they take $2.95. Um, or... And a lot of the items that I've been picking are things that I would have shipped priority because they've got really good priority shipping deals. So I think all in all, for as slow as it's been, you know, I had some decent sales, especially that Boyd's Bear. All right, it's time to get some work done. I'm actually processing Bala dishes today. We picked up a bunch this weekend and I want to go ahead and get them processed and listed. So let's all get to work, right? Bye.